It all started in Mbare, Harare's oldest and most densely populated suburb. A contaminated borehole was blamed for the first infections. But with broken down sewers and water shortages in most parts of the city, the disease soon spread. Health authorities announced a ban on food vending, which is seen as an avenue for a full-scale breakout. A 48-hour ultimatum to stop trading expired Friday. But when we hit the streets, vendors were still out in full force. These women are urging us to film the uncollected rubbish bins. That's the real cause of typhoid, they say. A combination of rampant vending, poor drainage and erratic refuse collection have created this open cesspool of rubbish posing a real health risk. This is why vendors are pointing fingers the other way. I don't think that food vending is what's spreading typhoid. The bins on the streets are overflowing because they haven't been collected, so it's the authorities themselves that have failed to maintain the city's standards. City authorities are making a last-ditch effort to clean up. We are attending to sewer, we are attending to water, we are addressing all those issues, we are, we are attending to the drainage system. Those are ongoing processes that we do every day. They say they will follow this up with a deployment to push out desperate vendors. This is how I'm paying my children's school fees and fending for my family. I have nowhere else to go. Yes, I'm afraid of typhoid, but I'm vending because of hardships. If only they could allow us to vend and clean up after ourselves instead of chasing us off the streets. The economic impact will be far-reaching, but the city says it must take the painful measures. We recognize the importance of vending of the informal sector in Harare. We know that's the livelihood of the people and we need to promote the people's livelihood. But for now, we need to protect the majority. And that's why it's enforcing the ban, which it says will be temporary and which it hopes won't be too little too late. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.